So, uh, a very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's my great, great pleasure to, uh, to introduce our plenary speaker for today, Professor He Fu Chu, one of the leading scientists in the field of proteomics in China. So, Professor He Fu Chu has made significant contribution to the field of proteomics. He has founded China Hupo, and he is also one of the among the first group of people who founded Hupo in 2001. He was also the first in Chinese scientist to lead an international consortium, the Human Liver Proteome Project, and has founded the Beijing Proteome Research Center, the Phoenix Center for Proteomics, and Institute of Biomedical Sciences in Fudan University in Shanghai. He has created an encyclopedia for proteins in the human body under physiological and pathological conditions, and his team's groundbreaking work in 2019 uh, stratify uh, early hepatocellular hep hepatocarcinoma (HCC) into three uh, proteomic subtypes with different clinical outcomes, and this led to the his idea of proteomics-driven uh, precision medicine. And Professor He Fu Chu is currently proposing a worldwide project called the Pi Hub, or uh, the proteomic navigator of the human body, which is also the topic of his talk today. Uh, this project aims to play a central and catalytic role in biomedical research over the next several decades. So that's a long time. And this project aims to provide an ultimate solution at the molecular level for the health and well-being of humankind. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my, good, it's my great honor to give uh, the brief introduction of the Pi Hub. That means the proteomic navigator of the human body. The, this story started from the Human Genome Project. In uh, 2001, uh, Nature published the Human Genome Project. Uh, that means the draft mapping of the human genome, the sequence. And the scenario also published his draft mapping of uh, the Homo genome in the science. Since then, the proteomics has been one of the most exciting and challenging frontiers of the life sciences and the medicine. And the main task of the proteomics is the searching for the real stuff of the life. We just started the 20 year journey for the proteomics in China. This story started from the 19, uh, 1998. They just published Chinese uh, the paper in a Chinese journal, and uh, three years later, published in international journals such as the Electrophoresis. And then in, uh, <coughs> in the two, 2002, the just for the initiating uh, of the Home, home and Protein Initiatives, we just started the Liver Protein Project, and also established the, 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 the Beijing Protein Research Center to, as the headquarters of the HLPP, and then published the first monograph of the, 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 the home organ the protein, that's the liver protein. And then they initiated to the, the Chinese, the Home Genome Project, and then set up the Phoenix Center. This is the, the, the big infrastructure of the national facility especially for the proteomics. And then we initiated uh, the, 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 the CNHPP and then published uh, the paper in Nature, just gave the area of the proteomics-driven precision medicine. And also on this the paper, we just identified the neotherapeutic target of the early stage of the liver cancer. And as the highlight of the molecular feature of the liver cancer, such as the glycolysis and the immunosuppression, and also get the highlight of the 
reprogramming of the true astro metabolism. So this is the big story uh, just gave the, in, the, 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 the indication of the new era. That means the proteomics driven precision medicine. They give uh, the repurposing of us my, this is the inhibitor of the SOT1. This is the enzyme for, for, for the, for the true esters, the storage. And re, repro, uh, repro, re, repurposing this is the inhibitor of the enzyme for the subtype of dependent treatment of the liver cancer. So this is just an indication of the, the new era. That means the proteomics driven precision medicine. But before that, the, the precision medicine just uh, launched by the Home and Genome Project and the, the, the TCGA and also the CEPTAC. So this is the genome the driven precision medicine. So this, this is quite a different. This is just driven by the proteomics. Uh, during the past few years, we have witnessed the paradigm shift towards the protein driven approach for the better understanding of the complex the diseases of the human beings, such as the, 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 the lung cancer, the pancreatic uh, cancer, the lung cancer, the COVID-19 and the Parkinson's disease and other Hamer's disease and the diabetes. So have a lot of the complex disease get the the very successful identification and understanding by the proteomics. The recent, uh, the recently, the, the, the WHO just gave the end of the epidemic of the, the COVID-19. So in this epidemic, they have uh, the, the, seven, the 700 million the cases and uh, about and close to the seven million, the deaths of the human beings. So it's quite the tough. But how the things comes? We know we know much about the virus. So in the comparison with the human genome, so the virus the genome just the very very the tiny, the 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 uh, validates. So they are very very tiny, and also it's the white box of the virus genome and the protein. Also in the comparison with the human genome, it's a white, it's a white box. But what's the interaction between the virus and the host? It's the gray, it's close to the, the black. So how to open the block, the box? So this is the real the, the challenge for the proteomics and also for the human beings. The current understanding of the human protein, we just uh, have uh, the draft mapping, the protein mapping uh, by uh, the former the speakers, and also the, for, 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 the, for the, deep, the deep coverage of the map of, from the, 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 cool, uh, the, the better coaster of the same lab. And then they have uh, the quantitative the protein of the human body. So we have a lot of the understanding of the, the protein mapping. But also we have f faced uh, the needs for the molecular diversification in the human protein. Uh, that shifts the training cells in the body. And also we have know about the dynamics of the proteins of the individuals and the populations in the various lifestyles across the lifetime. So we should uh, the open the blocks from the three dimension. The first from the organ centric to the cell centric, and the second from the snapshot to a movie, and from the ecosystem to the microbiome. So first from the organ centric to the cell centric. We have the 11 organ system and the 78 organs and more than 1,000 cell types and we also have uh, the, the, the 37 the training cells of our body. So we should have uh, the, the, from the organ centric to the cell centric. So there's the first the dimension, and the second from the slab showed to a movie. The, the human protein is highly plastic. 
across the lifetime. So this is just the zygote from the zygote to the embryo to the fetus. The genome is identical. They have a, the, the protein is plastic. So we should have a, the differentiate from the across the lifetime, uh, across the, the different organs of the fetus. And then also from the new birth and to the growing and the aging and the disease and the dust. So it's really the tough, the challenge for the plastic, the proton we should have from the snapshot to the movie. And also we should have from the ecosystem to the microbiome. Now this is a very interesting, the, 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 the watershed line. This is uh, demonstrated by, by a, a, a geographer, the Hu Huan Yong, in the 1935. They find this, the, the watershed line uh, could separate the China into the two parts. The east, the east one is the 94% of the Chinese population, and the other 6% for the other. So from the Heihe to the Tenchong, this is the, the watershed line just separated by the elevation and the precipitation. Uh, this uh, the the elevation, the elevation, and the, the precipitation, and also uh, separate to the GDP, the distribution, and the communication, and uh, the universities. So this the watershed, the line is really the the, the separated line for the culture, for the economy, for the climate, and also for the, the, the nutrition. So this, uh, this the line separates, the, this part's more the animal-based dietary, and this is the plant-based dietary. And I also get the pretty uh, the interesting, this is just the same for the extension of the Asia. This is the arc of the Asia. So this is the, the Hunai, this is the arc of the Asia. It's the common sense for the Asia. And also the common sense for the, for the world. So this is the, the vision of the world. So they just the same. So we should give this the periodic the, the principle for the human beings. And also very interested to give the common sense about the life. So this is just indication, this is just the indication of the biospheres. The, uh, that means it's the orange and the evolution, just like the global surface water and the global the area oxygen and the global the surface temperature. So give the birth and the dust of the life. So this is the, the common sense and the, they seem the principle for the protein, how to perceive, respond, acclimatize, and adapted to the environment. So the interaction between the home protein and the environment, they're just the same, but very important to give uh, the, the, the extension for the, for the, for the habitable the zone, from the depopulated zone and the forbidden zone. So this the home feature is very the, the interesting for the protein investigation, for the interaction with the home body with the environment. So we, we should extend our habitable zone, but on the dependent on the environment. So this is what you call the, the environmental proteomics, and the neutral proteomics, and the metal proteomics. So this is the physical, the physical, the physical environment, and the chemical environment, a biological environment. So this is the interaction between the whole body with the environment. So interaction between the protein and the environment to the conditions. And this is just for the one big challenge. They have uh, the big support from the, the Home and Genome Project. But uh, so far, we have no such skill to supporting for the Home and Protein Project. We should find this, uh, the global the support of this the even bigger and the bigger the, the, the project for the human being, for the human kind. And on the building of the home community with the shared future, the Chinese, the central government announced have the interest to set up the two 
Osray International, the big science project, and the, 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 the financial aid, maybe the billions for the each project, and the decades long the support, and also very interested to the Chinese government hope to devote the fund, the funds uh, applied by the scientists overseas. So this is the first time to give support of the international collaboration and the financial aid could be uh, go out, go abroad for the international collaboration. So this is just the, 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 the pilot, the, the, the pilot the proposal so for the next generation HPP. Uh, it's on the, the, very, uh, the very tough computation the, uh, from the 70 pr proposals around the, the, the much uh, disciplines and only one in the field of biomedicine. So this uh, the first, the, the first the, the project for the biomedicine. So one of the three. So I take this, uh, the, 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 the pleasure that the TI and the co-PI is Rudy and the Bender and the Mark Baker, the Tony Hunter, Danny Chen and the Yuan with the kind of. So this, uh, the, the, the pilot, the project. And then we have the, 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 the big one, expansion of this the pilot project. So this is the PIHUB, the proteomic navigator of the human body. So why the PI? That means the global contribution around the world and also the circle beauty of the weight, the weight wing demand. That's, that means the created by the Da Vinci. And also the, the endless frontiers beyond the proteomics. So it's really the, 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 the futures of the Pi. The global contribution, the circle beauty, and the endless frontiers of the life science, especially for the proteomics. Well, this is the central goals of the project. The first, the charting the spatial atlas. Second, you find the temporal space. The third, the modeling a met Homo sapiens. And the fourth, navigating in the reference space. So we, we just give it a brief introduction. The first, the chart in the spatial atlas. That means to dissect the human body into a hierarchy of a digital landscape of the project. Where we should dissect the human body into the hierarchy of the digital reference, the space of the proteins, just the five level measurement for the major races of the human being. And the second, you find the temporal space. That means to trace the protein-centric lineage trajectories three of the population's lifetime. We, 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 we have to detect uh, the, 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 the proteins throughout the life cycle, from the development stage to the aging stage, and also with the, uh, the, the diseases, and the interaction between the mi microbiome and the human body from the reproduction, the growing, the aging, and so on. So it's uh, for the full coverage of the lifetime. And the third, the modern and the metal Homo sapiens hope to build a framework for the computational, the modeling of the metal Homo sapiens as the virtual the space. Uh, this is uh, very important for the DIKW the framework. What's the meaning of the DIKW? The D is data, and the I the information, and the K is knowledge, and the W is wisdom. So that means to establish the the, the full the automatic the, the platform for the multi-omics the information analysis and formulates the digital representation of the company human body to information. So this is the form of the data to the information. And for the knowledge, hope to construct the, the metal Homo sapiens the model, and also hope to discover the building principle of the human body. And the third, hope to transfer the metal Homo sapiens the model to the various conditions and created the reference space 
for the K, the human body states, and also the infrared reasons that trigger the change of the K status. And the first, the navigating into reference the space, hope to navigate the human body from the disease and the sub-health state to the health state. We have to, uh, to build up the four kind of the, the, the ability. The first is the, the ability for the prediction of all the positive, the, 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 uh, the, the, the future states. And then for the accurate and the efficient judgment ability, for the prejudgment of the patients around the different status and the tendency for the change. And the third, hope to give uh, the, the timely and the decisive decision making the ability for the pre warm of the transit state at the set level, the different level from the health, the sub health, the mild, and the severe. And also have a uh, hope to the past planning in the state space and the optimal path for the recovery and the prevention of the sub health to the disease state and to the reverse. In the, in the end of the last year, in the, in the, la in the last the Congress of the HOPO, we just gave it a launch and kick off the Pi Hub, the project, and get the very, uh, the warm, the, the plus, the, 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 the interest for the uh, discussion and uh, the, the interaction and how side a lot of the MOU for the, uh, the deep interaction and the collaboration. So this just gave uh, the, the, the sum of the, the summary of the international leadership teams that join us for the, for, uh, the, on the Congress and after Congress. So this is a white paper that's just the, the published the, the day. So we could the scan the QR code to download the PyHub white, white Hub paper. This is the first version of the white paper. The four pillars for the, for, for, for the PyHub. The first, the home samples, and the second, technology, the innovations, and the third, the big science infrastructure and the open access to resource. We just give the, the, the brief introduction. The first, the samples. We have a lot of the large scale, the clinical cruisers around China. So we have the, the, the collaboration uh, for the local, the, the teams and the local clinical the, the cruisers. And also we have signed the MVU with the Biobank and the IC, the Biobank and the Biobank of Japan. And I also have the discussion for the further the collaboration with the other, the, 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 the cruisers and the Biobanks from the other countries. And for the technology innovations, we have the well established the method and the system for the kinetic proteomics. And I also have uh, the, the newly developed the SOTA, just like the, the single cell proteomics and the spatial proteomics. And I also have an exploring for the next generation, the techniques, just like the nanopore based, the protein sequencing and the pedicide sequence by the antimino, the pros, et cetera. The big science, the infrastructure. The fitness center is the first one. Uh, on the, 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 the HOPP, the project supporting, we have set up the Phoenix Center. And also this center will be given the strong support for the Pi Hub. So this is the first one. And the second one is the brand new, the infrastructure in the Guangzhou. We set up the DIKW, the four, the categories and the platform. The first for the data manufacturing, that means the multi, the automatic, the omics, the data manufacturing, and the second, the information, the pipeline, 
the automatic information, the investigation and analysis. And the third, the knowledge discovery, also the pipeline, the platform, and the, the automatic, the platform for the knowledge discovery. And the fourth, for the Western, that means the, the running the medicine uh, based on the AI, the big data, and et cetera. So this uh, the pilot version of the the, the Hui Yan in the Guangzhou, uh, including the automatic proteomics, the platform, the single cell proteomics, the platform, and the spatial proteomics, the platform, and also met him, met the, uh, Lomics, the platform. So this, uh, the pilot, uh, just in the, in the pilot, uh, the, the, uh, in years, uh, about two years ago, so in the Guangzhou. So this is just the cutting edge, the LCMS, the instruments, and the, the, the tireless worker, the robotic the work stations, and this, uh, I think with, uh, this is the first time for the, the automatic the, the workstation for the proteomics for the clinical the large scale cohorts the clinical cohorts for the proteomic investigation and analysis and also get the very strong support for the local the 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 uh, the, the call the labs the national labs from the Pengchen for the network communication the cyberspace and the network intelligence and the Guangzhou lab, this uh, the the disease, uh, the the Zhongnanshan, is really close to collaboration with the Guangzhou lab, and I also have the national core facility, just like to the Pengchen Cloud Brain, for the new generation of the artificial intelligence, and the home and cell lineage facility, especially to work on the single cell resolution of home and cell lineages. So to get the strong support for the national, the labs and uh, the national core facility beyond the, the Phoenix and the Huiyan, the infrastructure. And also we have to, to find the, 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 the close, the, the, the collaboration with the Lidland Proteomic Center, Overheard and the Procam and the SIGMAS with this, and the, the ICAC. And I also have for the discussion for the further collaboration with the Brookfine, DK, TK, and the Yonsei, and the Pacific Northwest, et cetera. So they have a lot of discussion and hope to find the further, the close, the, the collaboration with the other, the, the, the national facility for the other country, from the other countries. The open access the resource, the IPARS. The IPARS is an uh, integrated protein resource. Also, the official member of the Protein Exchange Consortium. The, the, they just published in, uh, in, uh, in NIR, and also get the very uh, support from the board. They have a lot of uh, the, the, the teams and uh, the international the project give the deposit of the data in the, into the IPROS. And also the upgrade, the update of this, the IPROS, and with the hardware-based big data, the architecture and the infrastructure, with the BP-level data storage and the hundreds of billions of the spectrum, the record, and the second level, the latest and service the capabilities. So this, uh, uh, the upgrade of the IPROS, and also we hope to set up the international, the global data center at the headquarters in Guangzhou, the, the Pi Hub International Data Center. We, we hope to get the more and more the interest and uh, the interaction and collaboration around, around the world to set up this, the, the global interaction, the, the international the data center of the Pi Hub. In the three stages of the project, uh, that have separated into the three the decades. The first from the 2020 to 2030. We have to, to initiate the cell type resolved protein atlas, life oriented plastic protein analysis, the organ century disease, the protein atlas, 
and the Pi Hub, the first version, that means the AI-based AI computational model. The first cell type resolved protein atlas. We have to, for the all major organs, to give the, the, the reference cell type to protein atlas at first. And then the life oriented plastic to the protein atlases for the five major, the, pre -pre, the prebiotics, the, the cycles. Uh, that means the gametogenesis, fertilization, embryonic, and the fetal development, and the delivery. And the five major, the postbiotic cycle, the adolescence, the property, gestation, the menopause, and the old age. And I also hope to analyze the, the four major dietary uh, nutrition patterns, uh, just like the Eastern, the Western, the Japanese, and the Med Mediterranean, the diet patterns. So the, the four, the main patterns of human beings of the nutrition. And then to map to the five major ecological environment, such as the, the tropical, the temperate, the continent, and the dry and the pillar. So the five, the typical ecological environment. And also to, uh, to map the 100 types of the microbiomes, the interaction between the microbiome, the internal and the external environment, the microbiome interaction with the human body. The organ century plastic the, the protein atlas have to map the, the proteins of the all major organs, especially with the focus on the five, uh, the three to five representative diseases for each related organ. In the first, the pi hub, the, the first version, that means the uh, AI based AI based computational model. We have to to get the first version, the navigator, the all the pi hub generated data will be projected into the virtual space and processed for explaining, explaining the complex relationship that between the molecular layers and the phenotypes. The initial the version of the navigator to depict and predict the physiological and the pathological process inside the human body. The newly obtained proteomic data could renew the navigator, facilitating the realization of the proteomic driven precision medicine. The first, the first stage we just set up the, the uh, at least the, the 10 initiative, the technology development, lifetime proteomics, the echo, the neutral, the metal proteomics, the this proteomics, Kinetic translation, computational sciences, and the data sciences. Just give the first the example, disease proteomics. We just uh, extended the nature paper in uh, 2090 from the, the samples, the type from the fresh frozen to the FFBE, and the technology from the DDE to the DIA and the scale from the hundreds to uh, the thousand scale, and also more, with more the clinical centers and the different regions around China. So this gave us a constant view of the verification of the, the discovery uh, of this uh, the, 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 the paper in the nature. So this, uh, for the support of this the pilot study, we set up the parallelized the multi mass spectrometries uh, with the four, the, the 480, and uh, the, the four, uh, the team's top pro of the broker. And also, we have uh, the AI based survival reinforced algorithm for the molecular subtyping and the patient stratification. And give a very uh, the, the pretty, pretty good. The identification of the diagnostic the biomarker derived from this the large scale the investigation.
for the early uh, the incurrence of the liver cancer. And this the, the data sharing with the AOA the resource by the, uh, the, the new data portal for the PDPM uh, set up by the Yunpin Zhu. And then set up for the, the large scale identification of the therapeutics targets. So with the, this the proteomics data and the alpha fold the data and the, for, for the large scale, the, the screening and identification and the confirmation. So we get it pretty good, the, the target for the therapeutics. So the PyHub project is ambitious 30 year mission to interrogate the hormone protein at the unprecedented the resolution and the scale. And the hope to boost technology in innovations for the next generation proteomics and the protein sequencing. Hope to facilitate the development of the novel diagnostic the test and drug discovery, and hope to hope to set the new era of a proteomics driven very anonymous medicine. So this uh, this just a very very brief introduction of the Pi Hub, and uh, thanks for all the the contributors, just like the Rudy Abso, uh, the Tony Hunter, and uh, the Yuan Vizcano and a lot of, a lot of uh, the, the contributors around the world gave it a very, very strong support and the dedication to this the project. So thanks for all uh, for the contribution, dedication. Welcome your the interest and the collaboration. Thank you. Thank you.